Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I wanted to share with you guys why I decided to start learning Mandarin. And I'm sure you've seen my recent videos have all been focused in learning Mandarin, how I study Mandarin. I wanted to explain more about it and my journey towards learning this language. And keep in mind, I actually had some Mandarin lessons when I was younger. My mom actually wanted me to learn Mandarin and I got so bored about it. I was just like, mom, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. And there's a bit of regret now not going because I think those lessons were either like free or like it was like really affordable or something like that. I think they were free. <laughs> I think that's why my mom wanted me to go and I got bored of them. I didn't think they were useful. Boy, was I wrong. So yeah, I actually started learning very, very basic Mandarin classes, taking lessons when I was younger, and I got bored of it. Now I'm back on the journey trying to learn the language as an adult. I bought this set, this living language learning set with like three books in it or four books in it with like nine CDs in it. Keep in mind, this was 10 years ago, hence why there's CDs in it and so I had to buy like a CD drive just so I can use the CDs. So first reason why first <laughs> First reason why I'm learn learning the language is because a lot of people around me speak Mandarin, my mom included. At work, I have to almost be forced to, to use language because people call in and they're asking for someone who speaks Mandarin. It's something that I have to use at work. So I think it'll be, it's very useful, especially because I'm surrounded by people who constantly speak it. This should have been my second, <laughs> this is my second reason. It should have probably should have been my first reason. But my second reason is that I watch a lot of Chinese dramas, a lot of TV shows, a lot of variety shows that have people who speak Mandarin. And I understand maybe like 20 to 30% of it. And sometimes I'm just like, I just wish I understood more of what they were saying as opposed to just reading the subtitles because I think reading the subtitles really takes away from what you're watching on TV. I'm like, I really need to put in the effort, really learn to speak it, really understand it, really understand like directly what the language, what people are saying and communicating and communicating with each other. Third reason, it's just really part of our cultural identity, part of my cultural identity. My parents are immigrants in, um, from China. My mom is an immigrant from China. So I have a Cantonese background, which makes learning Mandarin much more easier because a lot of words are very similar. So yeah, it's just a part of who I am. And so I just felt like it was such a necessity to, to pick up the language. The biggest turning point for me to learn the language was this year. One, when I was asking my mother, like what she thinks of my Chinese or Cantonese. And she's like, it's a five out of 10. And I'm like, well, you know what? I wasn't born in China, I wasn't raised in China. I wasn't born in Hong Kong either, so you can't really expect my Chinese to be like fluent, right? You can't expect me to be like, yeah, like you're you're nine out of ten, you're great, right? I think her standards are quite high, but it is what it is. The other turning point for me was being at a Chinese wedding this summer, and they were saying karaoke, and on the screen were. The words and that the people were singing were coming up. I did not understand anything and they were just singing. They're just singing very nicely. It was just nice to to, to observe the, the karaoke process, the singing process. And I was like, dang, I was like, I wish I could understand it. And I'm like, that's it. Like I need to start learning Mandarin, taking it seriously, really finding the time like once a week just to study the language, you know, study it and make sure I become proficient, maybe even fluent in it, understand it so that if I, if I travel in the future, I have no problems getting around. I have no problems get communicating with people, like, especially if I were to like go to like China or like Taiwan or Hong Kong. I, my hope is that in the future, I wouldn't have issues, understanding, communicating it, just getting around. And I think that's the goal, that's the essence of, of why I decided to learn it now and to be really focused. I just hope this encourages folks out there to like, you know, if you're really, really like adamant about learning something new or a new language, just like there, there is hope for you. Like I'm in my thirties, there is hope for you. So I hope that this video was inspiring and valuable and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.